Hello everyone, Bailey Whittle from Deep Creek Middle School here, and today I will be showing you how to create a Bitmoji classroom like the picture you see here. Over the course of these videos, I will show you how to create this image here, how to create clickable buttons that you can use in Schoology, so that way it's a little bit easier for your students to see, and then I will show you how to post them in Schoology. In today's video, we are going to focus on creating this virtual classroom image here. Let's get started! Alright, so I am here in Google Drive in a folder that I have created titled Schoology. You'll see some documents in here that we'll be working with later with the banners and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and go to New and Slides and let that load up and I am going to title this my virtual classroom and then we don't need to, this theme box over here and then we also can select and delete that both of those boxes so that we have a blank slate so the biggest tool that we are going to be using today is the insert image search the web. This is where we're going to find all of the photos that we are going to use to make our virtual classroom. The first thing we're going to start with is our wall. So I'm going to look for a white wall and I want to pick something that has some texture on it so it looks like paint. And that one works perfectly. So I'm going to drag the image and resize it so it fits my slide and then let's get some flooring. So we'll do insert image, search the web, and I want to get some wood flooring in. Now I actually want some that, something that goes sideways instead of vertical like this. I want it sideways. So let's try this one. And same thing, I'm just going to resize it and kind of fiddle with it until it's the size and shape that I want. I think something like that looks good. Alright, next thing we can do a whiteboard. So insert image, search the web. I'm going to search for a whiteboard and let's try this first one here. Alright, perfect. We even got some little markers down here, but it is way too big. So I'm actually going to resize from the corners so that way the same shape is here it stays a rectangle because if you do it from the side like this you'll lose the aspect ratio of the length and the width so I am just going to not do what I told you to do and resize from the corners until I get it to be the size that I want I'm gonna put three more things into this classroom we are going to do a desk and I'm going to search for clip art because I want something kind of cartoony that will match my Bitmoji. So let's see, I think this looks perfect. Now the problem we have here is that there is some extra space on the top and bottom. So I'm going to click on this crop up here and you want to click and drag the black bars to get rid of all of that extra space we don't need. Now it's a little bit big so again I'm going to resize from the corners and make it fit in my space. Then let's do a floor lamp and that one looks good. Now it's a little bit too big right now so same thing I'm gonna resize from the corners and get it arranged where I want. Now the problem is that it's in front of my desk and I actually don't want that. I want it behind it. So I am going to right click, order, send backward. That sends it back by one layer so it is now behind just the desk. If I instead did order, send to back, that would put it behind all the other images I have which include my, my floor and my wall and I don't want that. All right. Next thing I will do is my Bitmoji and you can get one of these yourself by downloading the Bitmoji app. You can go to bitmoji.com to get some more info. 
and it's available on the App Store if you have an iPhone or on Google Play if you have an Android. Once you download the app on your phone, create your account and design your character, you can go into Google Chrome, which is what I'm using, and go to the Chrome Web Store. That is I cannot type today, my goodness. That is chrome.google.com slash web store. And then you want to search the store for Bitmoji. That gives you this right here. You'll click on this blue button over here. It'll say add to Chrome like these guys down here. And then once that happens, this green face will pop up in your toolbar on Google Chrome. So let me go back to my classroom and now I'm going to click on the green face. And this is my Bitmoji. So you can see there's some fun little images here. Let me just put this one in. Because I can just see, you know, you've got a really talkative class. They won't be stop talking. They won't be quiet. They won't listen. And so you look at them and you say, okay, I'll wait. See? Applicable. Bitmoji's awesome. So what I'm going to do, and here's my pro tip, is I'm actually going to type pose into the search bar on the Bitmoji extension. And this gives me poses that my Bitmoji is making. So let's go with this thinking face over here. So you'll see I just left clicked on it and it popped up with that thing saying, mm, don't do that. So you right click, copy image, come back to Google, and control V on your keyboard to paste. Now same deal as with the desk, I don't like this extra space, so I'm gonna crop that out. Not that way. I'm going to crop out the extra space and then resize from the corner to get the character looking somewhat the right size because while I am short, I am not that short. And here we are. I've got a whiteboard, a desk, a teacher, and a lamp. Now, to add some text, we're going to click on this text box over here, drag a box over the whiteboard, and I'm just going to type a message like, Welcome to 6th grade. Now I'm going to Control A on my keyboard to select all of it, and we're going to change the font. Now if you want to add some fun handwriting fonts like this, click on the drop down arrow for fonts, click on More Fonts, and now you can search the Google font collection for whatever you want. If you click on this middle button here, you can pick the category of font that you want to look at. So if we do handwriting, you'll see a whole bunch of options here for handwriting style fonts. That's where I found the one that I am using. I'm going to make it bold because I want it to be a little bit thicker. And then let's try that. That size looks good. And then here's my last tip for the whiteboard. You want to align it to the center and align it to the middle. So that way it is in the center middle of your whiteboard. And now your virtual classroom is done. Congratulations. Last step, you're going to go to File, Download, PNG image. You want to choose PNG over JPEG as PNG is better quality and this will take care of giving you an image that you can put into Schoology. So if we do the file download PNG you'll see it pops up in my Chrome downloads down here and then if I pull up the downloads folder on my computer you can see that it is right here. You'll see that there are two of them. That's because I made a whoopsie with the recording first time around, but regardless, they still work. So this is a quick time lapse just to show you how to do everything in PowerPoint. And what I did was I copy and pasted all the images in the Google Slides that we made together. You will notice there's an extra poster on the background. That's because my recording messed up first time, but that's the only thing missing from the other one we made. And you'll notice as well that sometimes the objects have gotten grouped together. To fix that, you'll just click in the gray area around the outside edge of the slide and then select the image you want to move. I am cropping the 
blank space around the desk and the Bitmoji again. This is under the picture format menu, which appears when you select an image. The last thing you'll see me do is insert a text box. I'm going to use the font Bradley Hand ITC, which is a default font in Microsoft PowerPoint and that is a handwriting style font you can use for your whiteboard. If you want to animate your whiteboard text, you will need to do this in Microsoft PowerPoint, not Google Slides. All right, so now that we have made our virtual classroom in PowerPoint, I'm going to show you the easiest way to animate your text so that the text on your whiteboard will change. I am going to do three different messages. So with that, I'm going to come over here to the slide. I'm going to right click and copy and then control V to paste and paste. These are going to be my three different message slides. So the first one will say, welcome to sixth grade. I will make the second one say, English six with Mrs. Whittle, because that's me. And then I'll we'll make the last one say, um, something like, I'm so happy your your here so three different messages for my students to see when they log on to Schoology now we're going to want some blank space in between each of these messages so I'm going to control V and control V in between I'm going to paste in between my three message slides, but we want to come in and delete this text box. So now, if we pretend that this is an animated slide, the students will see, welcome to sixth grade, blank, English six, Mrs. Whittle, blank, and then I'm so happy you're here. Now what we'll want to do is we will want to go go ahead and save your presentation. I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and save my project really quick. And I'll stick it into this folder. And we will call this the Virtual Classroom 2 since I already have one from earlier attempts at this project. Let me go ahead and let that save. And then once it saves, you will want to go to File, Export, Animated GIF. And I want to spend three seconds on each slide. So that'll give us three seconds of a message, three seconds of white space, three seconds of a message, three seconds of white space, and then three seconds of a message. And actually, now that I think about it, I missed a step. So I actually want another blank slide after this last message, so when it cycles back around to the front, we won't have an overlap between this slide and this one. I'm glad I caught that. So again, we're going to go to File, Export, Create an Animated GIF. I'm actually going to do this at the large file size just because I want it to be slightly higher quality. And then again, I'm going to do it at 720 pixels and then 3 seconds per slide. So then you just click Create GIF and give it a moment and then your place to save will pop up. I'm going to save this under pictures and well actually I'll do this under downloads because I already have that pulled up and we'll just call this virtual classroom to GIF. I will give it a moment to load and then let's pop into my downloads and it looks like it has already popped up. 
All right, and here is what the final product looks like. We have an animated GIF that cycles through each of our text for three seconds. You'll see that it output it in pretty high quality. Some things are kind of grainy, but I don't think that's a huge problem. And this is your final result. In the next video, I will be showing you how to create the clickable buttons at the bottom of my virtual classroom. And then in the last video, we will put it all together and upload it to Schoology. Thanks so much for watching.